Oh, Jaffa cake. Is it a cake or a biscuit? From Ali Welshie 2492 on Twitter. There's clues in the name, surely. Well, you say that. But there was a big legal case over Jaffa cakes because the tax man wanted to prove that they're not actually cakes, they're a biscuit, in which case they could charge VAT on them and Jaffa Cake have to pay the tax man loads of money because they've been masquerading as a cake <laughs> all these years just to avoid paying VAT. Did you know that? I didn't, but it's still a cake. No, it's called cake, but the fat man is not having it. He thinks it's a biscuit. <laughs> it's never a biscuit. You don't dunk them in your tea, do you? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Choose three people outside of the family you would invite to Christmas. Ooh. Do you count as, you don't count as family, so you can come. Uh, I'll let you off. Ian Botham. I'd like to invite Ian Botham. Beefy. My hero as a kid. Um, and I think I'd probably then go with somebody like, I think Tiger Woods. That had to be a golf, golf, golf yeah, angle, yeah. didn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> obviously, it would be Richard Bland first, uh, because you know, he's <laughs> obviously closer mate than Tiger Woods. Um, but Tiger Woods is a slightly better golfer, or was a slightly better golfer, as Blandy's about 600 places higher than the world <laughs> rankings at the minute. Blandy, I'm sorry, you're in. <laughs> right. Oh, the best match you ever played in over Christmas. You got no I never, chance. I never you got played no in chance. Christmas. <laughs> I was, was suspended. suspended. <laughs> I, I remember some bad ones. Out. I got sent off on my birthday oh. in between Christmas and New Year one year, didn't I? New Year's Eve? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the 30th? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, got sent off against Norwich at the day. On your birthday? On my birthday. That wasn't the rule Fox on, was it? It was, yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah I remember that. So that was, a, that, that was an expensive fucking. birthday, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was memorable for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. I was actually going to ask this one and make it up, but it actually oh, has yeah. come up. Yeah. No <laughs> What's your favourite Christmas song? And oh, it's easy. Can you sing it? Oh, it's easy. My, uh, the first ever song I bought as a kid was This Old House by Shaking Stevens. So it follows on my favourite Christmas it? song will be Merry Christmas Everyone by Shaking Stevens. Well, come on then, give, give us a... Thing. Snow is bit. falling all, all around, around us. People, People have been dancing. No. <laughs> you know fun. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the season. What about Love Wham? and understanding. Merry Christmas, everyone. everyone. <laughs> Would you rather wear a snowsuit in the desert or be naked in Antarctica? <laughs> It wouldn't be a good look in Antarctica, <laughs> would it? Being cold. <laughs> Snowsuit all day long. If you were an animal, what would you be and why? I would go with... Oh, I'd be a cat. Why a cat? They don't do anything, do they? Just sit around all day, <laughs> sleep, eat, do nothing. They go and put, come and go as they please. No responsibility. Definitely a cat. Ah, oh, how many advent calendars did you have this year? One. One? One. Can you, know you believe I've that? I've only got one. I've only got one, but Ava has got four, four or five. It's a lot of chocolate I, first thing I, in the morning. I used to eat the kids when they had them younger. Their ones. You used to eat the kids eat, ones? Eat the kids ones, yeah. yeah. That's disgusting. I what know. kind of parent are you? I know, it's awful, isn't it? I'm ashamed. So you should be. Don't read them. Just pick them out. Ah. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? The strangest thing I think I've ever eaten? I haven't, no. Um, <laughs> I would have to say chicken's feet. Chicken's feet? Chicken's feet, yeah. Really? At a Chinese oh, restaurant, cool. yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, I, I wanted to try them, but... Are you right, right? <laughs> <laughs> But it was just all bony and... Not, not really for me. But what is the best ground you've played at, aside from St Mary's, of course? Which is well, you've only just about played here. <laughs> um, I would say... It was always my dream as a kid to play at Wembley, so that was kind of the Zenith Data Systems Cup Final. 
1992. That was nice. Uh, so Wembley was, old Wembley was right up there. Uh, oh, what's your? Is this a good one? Yeah. What? I good, I good, good, answer, or good, good, or good. I know this answer, but I'm interested. Okay. What's your biggest fear? Being biggest the fearless fear. footballer that you were and the aggressive, biggest fear, nasty bloke that you were on a football pitch. What do you fear? What scares Franny Bernali? Because Franny Bernali used to scare me in fear. training. <laughs> <laughs> fear of failure. Uh, I'm not. It's, it's not. I'm all right with spiders. Uh, I'm all right with. Snakes? Mm, yeah, maybe snakes. Yeah, snakes. Snakes? 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Snakes are okay, but snakes, snakes are really scary. scary. To death. <laughs> was there a ground that you never scored at that you would have liked to have scored at? Uh, again, oh, make the questions up. Um, <laughs> uh, I think probably Ellen Road. I never scored at. I never scored against Leeds, actually, even at home or away. Uh, and that was. A, a source of frustration to me given the fact I've got two big brothers who support Leeds yeah, yeah, and they yeah. forever reminded me that I never scored against their team. Who was your idol when you were growing up? I liked Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Hence <laughs> Hence the slug <laughs> under the nose. Um, <laughs> I was a big, uh, I loved football obviously but um, I was a big boxing fan as well. Oh yeah. yeah. So. Sugar Ray Marvelous, Leonard, yeah. Roberto Duran, Thomas Hearns were all, all right, of an all era. One idol, it said. Yeah, idols, yeah, but I'm just explaining why. The top one I liked, Marvin Hagler, yeah. more than the others. Okay. Marvellous Marvin. What was your least favourite subject in school? Oh, good question. So many. Um, <laughs> least favourite would probably have Wouldn't have been, been PE, would it? Ah. Oh. Brilliant at PE. I love PE. Oh. That's the only reason I really went to school was for PE. Yeah. I think my worst subject would have had to have been probably music. Uh, I, I, I have many talents in the sporting world. I have zero talent when it comes to music. <laughs> not, you and me both. Not a joke. As you're probably aware from the way I tried singing Shaker Stevens song earlier. <laughs> okay, this one's from uh, Grant Spencer on Twitter. G Spencer 84 Sausage sandwich. Red sauce, brown sauce, or no sauce at all? The, the whole sausage sandwich thing is not a bacon sarni. Uh, yeah. Now, if it was a bacon sarni, okay, so we'll, it would have we'll change to have, it. Bacon sarni with? It would have to be brown sauce. No. Definitely brown. Sausage sandwich with red sauce all day long. No, see, that's just wrong. Uh, We're so opposite. Why do we actually still speak to each other after 30 years? Good question, actually. <laughs> that, is a, that is a very, very good question. Can I go first? <laughs> Have you ever been recognised whilst on holiday as yourself <laughs> <laughs> and not someone else? Yes, I, I have been recognised on holiday uh, as, as far afield as uh, Singapore and Australia and Mauritius and places like that. So that's that was quite nice. But can yeah, I have I, I, I was mistaken can, for somebody can I, else in can Prague. I, can I just ask if you got recognised whilst in Prague, where you would think? With Southampton playing against Sparta, you would probably be recognised as Mr. Letizia, yeah. maybe. And when we stood out shop, side of shop waiting for the girls one day, some guy looked at you a few times and then, go on, you take and it And not only there. did he look, he was like looking and looking <laughs> and going, is it him, is it him? And then, he, and then he walked away a few yards, got on his phone, Googled, got the old Google out, got the pictures up, and he's going, I can see him going, yeah, that's him, that's him. <laughs> All right, toughers. <laughs> Can I have a picture? <laughs> Seriously, mate. Not Phil Tufnell. Southampton are playing in Prague. What have we come doing here? Yeah. <laughs>